hello everybody today's tutorial is going to be on my foundation routine and if you guys want to see how I get my foundation onto my face to look beat to perfection then stay tuned okay baby dolls let's get started first taking max fast response eye cream we're going to apply that under our eyes this is going to help with the under eye bags puffiness and the fine lines and wrinkles. You're going to blend that in with your ring finger because it applies the lightest pressure and you want to be careful with your delicate eye area. Next taking Pond's Dry Skin Cream which is a moisturizer you're going to rub that into your skin. Using Too Faced Primed and Poreless the Bronze Glow you're going to apply that to your skin and this is going to help your foundation last longer and apply more smoothly. And you're going to blend that into your skin very well, making sure to blend it into your problem areas where you have large pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. Next, taking my BH Cosmetics Cam Camouflage Concealer Palette and a peach or salmon toned concealer, you're going to apply that under your eye area to help with the under eye darkness and to help cover up your bags. And you want to make sure to blend that concealer out very, very well. I'm using a pointed foundation brush. To do this, you can use a beauty blender sponge, you can use your fingers, or anything that you would like. You're also going to apply this to your problem areas on your face where you have acne scarring. Next, you're going to take your foundation of choice. I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Collection Stay Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. And I'm, I only apply one pump to my skin. You can apply as many pumps as you like. You're going to take your finger and you're going to dab it onto your skin at first. This is going to help to evenly distribute the product before you use your brush. Using your foundation brush, you're going to use stippling or patting motions at first to blend in the foundation. And then you're going to start to buff the foundation into your skin by using circular motions. And you're going to blend, blend, blend away until your foundation is flawless. And this might take a while, so you, you, you want to keep blending and blending until it's in your skin flawlessly. Next, taking my NYX um, concealer wand in the color tan, I'm applying this under my eyes to help give me a highlighted effect. Using that same foundation brush that I used to blend out my concealer or my peach color concealer, I'm going to blend out my highlighter concealer in this shape of a triangle. And this is going to help brighten up your under eye area and to help hide your, uh, your dark circles under your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak today. And you want to make sure to blend that in very, very well. Using that same concealer, you're going to put some down the bridge of your nose, in the center of your forehead, on your cupid's bow, and on your chin. And you're going to use that same brush to blend it out. And this is going to further enhance your highlighted effect. Next, using Ben Nye's Luxury Banana Powder, you're going to apply this under your eyes to help further highlight your skin and to set your concealer. Aside from using it on your eyes, you're going to use it down the bridge of your nose, the cupid's bow, 
your chin, and your forehead. Anywhere that you highlighted your skin, you're going to use this powder. Taking a setting powder of your choice, I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. You're going to set the foundation in the areas of your face where you have not put any highlighter. You're also going to use that same brush after you're finished applying your setting powder to brush away the excess banana powder. And this is going to help avoid the white cast effect. Next, you're going to add your blush, highlight, contour, and lipstick. and spray your face down with Max Fix Plus. I didn't put on any lipstick yet, so. But I did now, and here's the finished look. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in another tutorial, bye.